Hey everyone, Dr. Crank here at Waco Animal Hospital, and today we're going to be talking about cat intestinal parasites. All right, Dr. Crank, what are intestinal parasites? So intestinal parasites are most commonly known as worms, and they are types of parasites that can actually get into your cat's intestinal tract and um, do some harm as far as either affecting the intestinal tract itself, um, feeding on some of the nutrition that your cat intakes, um, and can actually pass out into the stool. So how does my cat get worms? So the most common things that we see in cats especially are from ingestion of fleas. Um, so fleas can actually carry tapeworm eggs and those tapeworm eggs can actually be ingested by the cat whenever they're grooming and pick up a flea and into the um, intestinal tract it goes, hatches out, and there you have tapeworms. And so by ingesting fleas is one thing, but also from ingesting or being um, having worms present in their environment from if they're around other cats that also have it in the litter box. So are worms painful to cats? So they can definitely become uncomfortable. Um, some of them do have GI upset as far as some nausea, um, diarrhea, things like that, especially if they have a pretty heavy burden. Are worms visible in my cat's stool? And what do they look like? A lot of times they can be. So you'll have some that are roundworms and hookworms that'll be kind of like long pieces of spaghetti for better lack of description. Um, and then you also have tapeworms, which will be shorter and like little grains of rice. And those usually get stuck around your cat's fur on the back end. So what are signs that my cat has worms? So there can be a lot of different signs. Normally it's going to be um, some loose stool, potentially vomiting or not eating very well. Um, but then also if you obviously see the worms in your cat's stool or around the back end, um, but even some weight loss or their hair coat doesn't look as great as it once did. How common are worms in cats? So worms are fairly common. Tapeworms are gonna be probably the most common that we see in cats. Um, kittens are usually the most affected, um, but it is something that adult cats are gonna be more prone to getting those tapeworms from the flea ingestion. So my last question is, how long can worms last inside my cat? So they can last for quite some time, especially if they go undetected and are not treated. All right, thank you. Thank you.